Yeah, I printed my logo on there. Which is really big. It can go on any t-shirt or any bag. And a packing station. So, a room transformation tour. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, we have a room transformation tour. And I'm going to do some cutting of my DTF transfers that I'm selling on the website. I have a roll and I'm going to I'm going to cut them up um, ready for sale. And yeah, I'm going to give you a tour of this room. It's completely transformed. I used to have a bed in here. I don't anymore. The bed was totally in the way of getting the business up and running. So it's dismantled. It's in the garage, it's gone, and I have a completely new workspace. So, let's go through it all. Um, I have a lot, I've done an awful lot of work on the business over the last week or two. So, the package that I sent to myself, I received that back on the Monday, which is brilliant. Absolutely, 100% love that postal service so I'm using them because I wanted to kind of test the waters and see how they did and they did brilliant so yeah we're using them they are now connected with my Shopify store so any order that somebody places Shopify charges me the postage I print out the label and I send it to the courier if there's lots of packages the courier comes to my door I set a time for them to pick up all the packages and they pick them up and take them away, basically. It's so much easier than I expected it was going to be. Um, I thought it would be such an arduous complex. Mind you, setting up the courier with Shopify was slightly more complicated than I expected, but the process itself isn't. So I'll go through this room, show you what I've done. I'm just going to move this back so that I can show you everything. This <laughs> is Mickey. Mickey's always in the shot, isn't he? <laughs> okay, as you walk, obviously that's the door to, to the room. So as you walk in to the right, I have my little shelving unit where I've got my fabric. This is really, really important. It's um, It gets all the dust and hair off the t-shirts before I DTF or sublimate them. That is so important because if there's anything on the t-shirt before you sublimate it, it can damage the pattern. So every single time I use that. These scissors are used so much for all sorts. Um, I also have little shelves. I'm not really using these at the minute. I don't need to yet, but I'm sure I'll find a use for them. You've seen my backdrop uh, that I put up a while ago. Um, absolutely love it. It's like a little fairy garden, just beautiful. I put these lights up the other day because I thought it would make the place look more pleasant and it does. <laughs> um, and then round here, I'll show you this area in a second where I've moved the bed and replaced it with stuff. This looks really messy, but it's actually quite organized. I have my Cricut hat press here. Um, I have some paper for wrapping. That's going to go over onto my wrapping station in a second. Got my DTF powder, my spray um, for sublimation. I've got some <laughs> products in here that are printable, but I'm not sure I'm using them. And I've got all sorts of things for printing on in here. Got my Cricut pens. I have a telly. Important. <laughs> I've got my DTF oven here. So this is basically my printing station. DTF oven, press. Um, so that's just a, a heavy industrial press for my t-shirts and bags and things. Then I have my little Cricut if I ever need it. And I have my DTF printer. And then next to that is the computer and the label printer so that I can print out my shipping labels and my stickers. And it's just handy, it's connected to the computer. So it's all set up, ready to go. I have a ton of sublimation paper. <laughs> it's really handy to rest stuff on. Have stock in here. So this is t-shirt stock. I have tote bags in there. And if we turn around, this is where the bed used to be. Took up all that space. Now I have a workable area. We have 
a bed settee here. So this is for if people need to sit down, obviously. There's an area there for people to put their cup, if they're having a cupper. And a packing station. So the packing station, I bloody love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I've got a lot of stock under here. I've got my t-shirts, I've got some cushion covers, I've got hats, and I've got tote bags. And then my little packing table. So this... It's plastered with my logos and why not? So I bought some sticker um, paper. So it's like a see-through sticker printable paper. Well, it's not paper, it's sticker. And yeah, I've printed my logo on there. Love this so much. Printed this for when I do like TikTok reels and things. Oh, TikTok shorts. No, reels? It is reels, isn't it? TikTok reels and YouTube shorts. Um, just so people are prompted to subscribe because it's important. I've got a little plant here. I put him there because I thought it would be nice. And I've got my calculator. Really important. Scissors. Really important. Stickers. You saw me print them last video. Love them so much. And my thank you cards. And then I've got a weighing machine. This is to weigh all my products so that I know how much they weigh so I can put it into the shipping information. Then I've got my bags, small and large, for packing everything. Got some blank shipping labels and some blank stickers. And then I have my DTF prints to sell to people for their own businesses. So today I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to put them in piles of however many I've got. And we're going to, yeah, have them ready to go. They're all listed on the website, ready to go for people to use in their own business. And... Yeah, so I've also got some really thin tissue paper to wrap products in and then I use a sticker. Obviously, you've seen me do that. Um, and my measuring tape. I've never used a measuring tape so much in my life <laughs> than opening this shop. So, well, opening the shop. It's not open yet. It opens on Saturday, Saturday the 2nd. So, be there. <laughs> All right. I am going to pull up my chair and I'm going to cut out my DTF transfers ready to go, ready to sell. So this is our Sparkle Then Ignore DTF print that can go on a t-shirt rather big which is really big it can go on any t-shirt or any bag or anything really that's not plastic or can melt or whatever um so these are absolutely brilliant they can go on color darks absolutely love it <laughs> so excited so that's two. Oh, actually no that's three cut out so far ready to go just say manifesting <laughs> and that's just like a simple word for any kind of apparel t-shirt bag whatever you want to put it on I guess there are instructions that come with these on the order form the order form when you place an order we do have instructions on how to um, what to do with these but we will be putting instructions in with every one of these as well that we send out so yeah if you've got your own business and you need transfers then look no further <laughs> absolutely love these ones these say you were born to shine and it's got like a tiger print a pink and gold tiger print born to and obviously there's the sun and there's like a paint stripe going through it love them won't they look gorgeous on a t-shirt <gasps> wow love This 
one's fairly difficult to cut because they're quite close to each other, the start, the end of one and the start of another. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful not to cut into any of the pattern. This one says cutie pie and it's really retro. I absolutely love it. I love the bubble words on this one. This also would look gorgeous on a t-shirt or a tote bag. We actually sell these on the website as well as full products. But again, if you've got a business and you want to buy the transfer to use for your products, then look no further than made for you. Because that's what we do. So that's them done, ready to go, ready for sale. I only have these at the moment, but I will be selling more. In the future, we'll have more designs and more stock. But because I haven't opened my shop yet, I still have to gauge how many will be ordered, how many of what design, which ones I will need more of in the future, and if there's any interest in having any of the other de designs on the website for your own business, then send us a message, send us an email, and we will look into getting that design for you so you can use it on your own apparel. So like I said, these can go on any color. Um, there is white on these. With DTF, it doesn't print white, but with this type of DTF, it does. So you can use it on any color garment that you wish to use it for. So they're absolutely fantastic for that reason. So yeah, I'm gonna put these into my storage container over there for the DTF prints. And I'm gonna move everything back and I'll get on with, I've got some stuff to do with the family today because my son wants to go out to a trampoline park and I'm trying to juggle having the business and my two channels and my full-time job so I'm trying to juggle everything so I'm gonna go out and do that now but then whatever I do with the business when I get back I will show you so what I'm just doing here is adding when you ship internationally, you have to add what's called an HS code to each product so that um, customs and tax authorities <laughs> know what's being shipped because a, a certain tax code on a product will flag a certain amount of tax in another country. So I know Australia, um, they, we won't, no customer would be paying tax that kind of tax in Australia, they would just pay the flat uh, shipping rate. Um, but if it's like say America or Europe or United Kingdom, they have certain taxes on products. So you add the tax code to each product and you have to add it to each variant. So every single size of that product needs that tax code as well. So I have size six to 16. So I'm having to add that HS tax code to each variant of each product. So I'm having to go through each product and add that code because I'm selling internationally. Um, so that's taking a little bit of time, but um, yeah. So what I want is for international customers to know exactly what they're gonna be paying. I don't want them to be stung at the other end when they pick up their product by their country saying, you owe us this much, you know? So I want to be transparent for international customers on how much they need to pay from the offset so that they have nothing to pay at the other end. And hopefully it's not much. I don't know how much tax other countries charge, but that will appear on the checkout if you're in like America or the UK that should appear, well will appear on the checkout as an extra charge so that when you pick up your product, like I say, you're not gonna get charged that and then think, well, I thought the product was this much, it's now this much. I don't charge that, that's not me, that's your country 
charging that on a product that you've bought from Australia. So I wish that wasn't the case, but unfortunately it is. And I obviously I can't wear that cost for each product that I sell. I have to charge it at the checkout because yeah, it's an extra cost that that could be charges. So that's what I'm sorting out right now. All of these little things or big things need sorting out before Saturday before I open the shop because I don't want like I say any hiccups <laughs> to happen so I'm ironing out anything that I can see that needs ironing out before then and yeah I have to pop out right now because my family wants to go out my son is going to jumps so like I said I'll come back later. I might do some practice printing. I'm going to show you my tote bags. I've got some of them printed already over there. So I'll show you those designs when I get back and also we'll print another tote bag because I'm having a few issues with the settings for the tote bags. Not the black handled ones, they're fine. But my ordinary tote bags, I am burning them. So I need to fiddle around with the settings of the heat press so that I don't burn them. Because I don't want burnt bags. <laughs> I'm not selling burnt bags. So we'll, we'll go out. Um, on my other channel, I'll have my day in the life where you'll come with me. <laughs> but obviously this is a different channel. So I will come back and we'll do all that. Okay, I need to go. <laughs> I'll see you later. So I'm back from being out and about and filming for my main channel um, and I've just recorded some stuff for that and I said I would show you guys the totes, the prints that I've got for these. So you've probably seen this one already because it's on the top but I've pre-printed the Hello Beach. I love these designs, I think they're absolutely gorgeous, they're really colourful, I love the colours. So these are sublimated and these bags are sublimation bags so you can actually put direct sublimation onto them which is fantastic. So that's the Hello Beach. Then I have a, I have a Just Wing It which is a life motto for a lot of us, I'm guessing. <laughs> a lot of us just wing it, don't we? <laughs> fake it till you make it, that's another one. I should maybe have a design that says fake it till you make it. Actually, I'll do that. I'm gonna do that, I will. <laughs> so that's that one. And then, then we've got Cutie Pie. Obviously, this is one of the DTF prints that I sell as well. I also sell, obviously, the merchandise with... Um, I also sell the t-shirts and tote bags and things with this design on it. So this one is Cutie Pie. I don't know if you can really see the colours on the camera. The camera and the light is really bright, so it makes it look really washed out. But actually, this is like a coffee colour brown and these are like pinky hearts that looks a bit washed out there but it looks really nice in real life then the last one I printed as a kind of a test run is be the change again it's a lot more vibrant in real life but I love it absolutely love it so it's obviously a butterfly and it's all about embracing being yourself and not being scared to make a change and to go ahead and just do it. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I need to design a DTF print card that I'm going to put with all the DTF prints that I sell. So it'll have instructions on what um, method to use to print them, um, what temperature and how many seconds and things like that. So I need to design that. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, and I do have a couple more things to do. I do need to carry on doing the HS codes because there's a lot of them. 
to fix up. So I'll get cracking doing some of that right now. I'm going to do the more fun thing right now, which is to design the DTF cards. And also a fake it till you make it. I might put it here. If I've already designed it, I'll put it here. <laughs> It's the next day because I'm like wearing a dress. <laughs> so hot today, literally, and like, yeah, it's just like ridiculously hot. So I'm wearing this floaty thing. Anyway, I'm busy, as you could see, I'm cutting my cards. So these are the DTF instruction cards. They basically say thank you for your purchase, and then they've got like a heat transfer instructions on them so whenever you buy my DTF transfers for your business you'll have instructions on these cards ready to go just to inform you on how to how to do it so I'm gonna carry on cutting the rest unfortunately I've run out of card the last I printed off about 24 and only noticed after I'd printed them that there's one letter missing on every single one. Actually, just on the side ones, these ones are all right. There's one letter missing. Because it says, uh, use a Teflon sheet or grease proof paper to remove any adhesive uh, residue. And the two is missing the, the O. <laughs> I've got quite a few like that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I've run out of cards, so I printed off. I actually adjusted it, and then I printed off, um, I think it was eight. Might have been 16. Actually, it might have been 16 that are perfect, and all the writing's there and everything's fine. I hate having things not quite right. It really drives me insane. So what I might do it is like re reprint them like these ones that are perfect and just discard the other ones because I can't I can't stand having even a slight little defect on these cards that I'm sending out I hate that so much so I might go out today to office works and buy some more white card to print these onto and print some more because it drives me nuts can't have anything that's slightly off just wouldn't work would it <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today anyway oh I managed to get all the HS codes done I spent a few hours today getting them all up to date so every every product on the website so far has the correct HS codes I've got some more um there's my little dog he's gorgeous um I've got some more products to upload to the website today as well um and then I believe everything's ready to go apart from all the cards I need to print and cut but I'm pretty on top of stuff because I gave myself plenty of time I gave myself like a few months to set up the business and it was a good idea <laughs> pretty much I'm just contemplating buying some more stock of the t-shirts and certainly the tote bags I haven't got enough of those and some more caps as well. Contemplating buying some more of everything so that there's enough and I don't run out and panic about it. <laughs> but that would be a good problem to have, obviously, with a business. Like to run out of stock is a good problem to have. Anyway, I am going to get on with this. And I think I'm gonna close out the the studio vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Um, 
leave a comment down below what your favorite item is that I've shown so far I haven't shown all of my items I haven't shown all of my stock um, but you'll get to see that obviously when I open shop and I'm videoing myself packing orders and posting them and things like that Oof. I can't wait I really can't I'm so excited to launch this business it's gonna be like a dream come true <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and get some more card from office work, spend some time with the family because next weekend I don't know if I'm gonna be able to offer my time <laughs> to them. So yeah, I opened on Saturday, Saturday the 2nd of March, put it in your calendars. Go on my website and put your email address in and it'll um, send you a mail shop to let you know that we've opened and also you'll get like uh, any offers and things sent to your email address if you want that. Um, that would be awesome. So thank you for joining me guys. I love you all and I'll see you in my shop opening studio vlog number four. <laughs> it'll be my shop opened the next one. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye!